What's going on guys? Welcome back to part two of the Humminbird Fish Smart app tutorial. And today we're talking about the actual chart select, the Lake Master mapping that you can do on this Fish Smart app and how you could buy these maps right off of your phone, off, off Google Play or your uh, app store, whatever you are for uh, Apple phones. I'm a Samsung guy, but you don't even have to load up your credit card on the Humminbird site or anything like that. This actually goes all through your Play Store, so if you have your credit card on file with the Play Store, you can buy these maps, and most of them are all $9.99 a piece, unless it's a huge chain or a big Great Lakes uh, lake. And uh, then you can view it right here on your phone, and we're going to show you how to view it on your phone, what you could do on that map the night before you're on a fishing trip from your hotel room, which is really cool, and how to transfer this with the waypoints to your units, guys. You can do it right there on the boat the next day when you're out on the water. It's very simple. Transfer right to the unit through Bluetooth with your Gen 2 and Gen 3 Humminbird Helix units. Stick with us. You're not going to want to miss this episode of Slime Quest. All right. Now that we have the Fish Mart app loaded up and we actually have linked our Chart Select account, and if you haven't already created a Chart Select account, Go ahead, click down here, just click on that register for chart select. It's going to bring you right to the website, a couple easy steps, email, full name, and just go ahead and uh, make yourself a password, and then we can go back and you're logged in on the FishSmart app and your chart select mapping. Once you do that, what we're going to do here, guys, is go to the chart select mapping. Here it's going to have every state and every lake in that state that they have maps of. You can see that most of these are all $9.99, and these are all going to come one-foot contours. They're, uh, some of the bigger reservoirs, you know, they can go up to about $29 as the most expensive maps. But, again, that is way cheaper than buying those expensive Lake Master Gold maps for the one-foot contours, especially if you only fish a few lakes. I know I've got multiple ones of these lakes. You can see right here I have a ton of them already loaded up on here, and... So what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to go to your home state, you're going to go ahead and click on one of these lakes right here, and it's actually, all you do is say you found your lake that you want to download. You see that it's $9.99, you're going to go ahead and just hit this little dot, dot, dot right here and go to Cursor 2. Make sure that that is the body of water that you want to actually download. Just double check. Then, of course, you can go back to the chart select mapping and then go ahead and click on that $9.99 icon. Now, it's going to go to purchasing and it's going to purchase right through the Google Play Store. All you do, have to do is hit buy. It's got the credit card on, pi, on file and then that's all there is to it. You're going to have this chart downloaded. Once that chart is downloaded, we can go ahead and click on your owned maps. And it's going to show each map that you individually bought. In this particular instance, let's just go to Lake St. Clair. All you have to do is click on this download right here, and it's downloading Lake St. Clair. It's going to download that map, that one foot contour Lake Master map, right to my phone. Now give it a second, let this download, we'll get right back with you. All right, guys, now that the lake is all downloaded, you see this little square box next to Lake St. Clair. Going to go ahead and click, check that box, and click on the little dot, 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 and go to Cursor 2. Now we got all the one-foot contours of this entire Lake St. Clair, which Lake St. Clair does not have a lot of actual contours. But let's go out here to this middle channel that runs through the entire lake, and you can see all these contours on that bar right here going into that channel. You can see it's one foot contours. You could actually go and see every one foot contours. And even if you don't have a Humminbird Helix unit, you could actually still, it'll show use this as your, your chart and your sonar out there on the water. You, it'll actually show you out on the water and moving around when you're on your boat or whatever. But this is all one foot contours, and uh, it's really cool, guys. You can just scope all this stuff out. 
the night before you go fishing. Like as I'm just looking, you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not the best person at knowing Lake St. Clair, but down here I see a lot of little stuff just from looking at this map. Say the night before I'm in a tournament, I'm actually or uh, just going on a fishing trip, sitting in my hotel room, having a beer, eating some food, and I'm like, you know what? I'm really thinking about fishing tomorrow, and I want to just check some spots out, and uh, and look at all these little bars right here. I just I just kind of seen this. This looks like a pretty cool spot. It looks like a, a bunch of little humps. Got 20 foot of water around there, and uh, looks like a bunch of little one two foot humps all through the lake out here. So that'd be a pretty cool area to go check out. Here's one cool thing that you guys could do now. It's one thing looking at these one foot contour maps. And we'll actually look at another map too, guys, because this one's kind of like pretty featureless. But say you want to get really detailed on this map, you can do the same thing you do on your Humminbird units by clicking on this little lines up here. And it's got all your settings. You can turn your contour lines on or off, depth shading. If your water level changes, if you're on a reservoir, you could, you could lower and raise that contour that you're fishing. Say the water came up three foot, you could up that three foot. All you gotta do is turn it on, up it three foot, and it's gonna change all those maps to three foot higher. We're gonna bring that back down to zero. Shallow water highlights. If you guys are scared of hits, hitting something. So let's do one thing here, guys. Let's put shallow water highlight on six. We're turning that on. We're gonna go to depth highlight. We're looking for a certain depth here, guys. Say we wanna target uh, 17 feet of water. We're gonna set this minimum range. First, we're gonna turn this on. We're gonna set this minimum range to 16, maximum range to 18, and now we're gonna eliminate It's a little, uh, a little touchy. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat. So we're actually just gonna, there we go, 18. And now we're gonna exit out of here. And now look at that. Each one of these little humps has 18 feet of water on top of it. So if we're targeting 18 feet of water, and if our boat is out here and we don't even have a sonar on the boat, we could zoom in on this structure and actually have our boat right off the side and follow these contours, follow these con contours, contours with our boat and fish this exact contour on these little humps right here, which is really cool, guys. And we also, so we're coming out, we can see our shallow water highlight up in five feet, all along the shorelines. And we got all this highlighted 17 foot water, which is really cool. Got a lot of shallow water up here, drops out, and we can see some of that deeper water out here in the middle of the lake. It's not a real deep lake, but you can see all this other green is between 16 and 18 foot. So there's a lot of water between 16 and 18 foot. Pretty cool guys. There's a couple more features on here. If you wanna turn those off, all you have to do is just go to turn those turn those off. We're gonna leave, actually leave them on. Um, here's the next thing I actually wanna talk about. Is say we were looking at that spot, or look at this. Look at this little point coming out here. This is something I just seen too. That this little point comes way out off in the lake right here. Say we wanted to mark the very tip of this point where it drops from 18 into 20 foot of water. Any if you're not if you're on a lake that actually doesn't have a lot of contour change, some of these just subtle contour changes from 18 to 20 feet is is gonna be the ticket sometimes. What we're gonna do is just hold on to that little point right there. Added a waypoint, and now we have an add a waypoint on this map. And let's actually just go ahead and add a couple. Are going to be pretty good. We're going to add a waypoint right here. Add waypoint. 
put one on this tip right here, add waypoint. And now, as we transfer this map, this one foot contour map, to our Humminbird Helix unit, it is going to have these waypoints already marked on that map, which is gonna be pretty cool. Now, all right guys, now that we have a couple spots marked, a couple waypoints on some pretty cool stuff, and uh, we've already kind of looked at the lake and found a couple key spots that looks really good, we're actually gonna show you how we're gonna get out in the boat, I'm gonna power on my unit, and we're gonna show you how to transfer this map right to your Humminbird, as long as you have an SD card slot, uh, or have an SD card in your slot, or have enough memory on your unit, which uh, I wouldn't rely on your unit to have the memory, just have some extra SD cards around, 32 gigabyte or less, and you can download these maps, multiple, right onto that same SD card, and you're gonna be good for a bunch of lakes that you go to, and it's gonna be, save you a lot of money in the long run, guys, rather than buying that $200 Lake Master card. So, let's jump in the boat, stick with us. All right, we're in the boat, Say we're getting out on the water. We actually got our unit powered on. We're gonna load this map too. We have our SD card loaded in this slot. Yep, got one in there. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna kick on this Fish Smart app once again. We're gonna go ahead, click out of here. Now that we're in our chart select maps and we want to transfer this St. Clair map to my unit with the SD card in there, we're gonna go ahead and click on this and hit transfer. Estimated transfer time, 22 minutes and 29 seconds. So it does take a little bit of time guys, it's not as fast as going on the computer and downloading it from the Chart Select app, but it's a lot more easy. Hit that confirm button. What you do here guys is just hit that, check that button right there and hit that transfer right there at the bottom, and it's gonna transfer right onto the SD card via Bluetooth. And it's really cool, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys exactly on here it happening, because I've already put that St. Clair map on an SD card before, and I really don't feel like paying that money to just show you guys the transfer process, but it's that easy. You click on that box for the SD card, and then hit that transfer button, and it's gonna do just like that update. It's gonna be transferring along the bottom, on that right there and once it's done it's going to show up on that sd card and you're going to be good to go all right i'm sorry i couldn't show you guys exactly the transfer process but if it was a map that i haven't put onto an sd card before so these when you're buying these maps guys you're only allowed to put it on one sd card you can look at it on your phone as much as you like um but it only lets you transfer those one time and i've already transferred that to an sd card so it's not gonna let me transfer to another SD card or else they, they really want an additional 995 for that card. But it's as easy as that guys, you just hit that transfer button, have that SD card in your unit and you'll be good to go on that lake. It does take a little bit of time like you guys saw, 22 minutes is a bit of amount of time, but by the time you got on the water, got out to that spot, that transfer will be done and you'll be good to go. Or else you can do it the night before on your boat as well. So. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, please stick with us. We got a lot more cool stuff coming up later this year. Uh, we're gonna get in some really cool knot tying stuff. Tying different uh, leader lines to hooks and uh, leader lines to mono, you know, for leaders straight without a barrel swivel or anything like that. A lot of cool knots we're gonna show you. They're gonna be quick, to the point episodes, and we're gonna bust out a bunch of those because I've had a lot of guys asking about knot tying and different rigs and stuff like that. So we're gonna do a couple of those. We are gonna mix in some more Humminbird videos. And uh, stay tuned guys, got some awesome stuff coming up. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate all you guys watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.